So we have a function from the z cross z into z. So this is all ordered pairs of integers. And this simply here is all integers given by this following formula. And we have to prove uh, it is onto. So before we do the proof, recall that a function f from capital X to capital Y is called onto or surjective if for all little y in capital Y, this is called the codomain, there exists an x in capital X, this is called the domain, such that f takes little x and sends it to y. So graphically what's happening, this is your domain and this is your codomain. And so given any little y, we can find some little x such that f takes little x and sends it to y. So f of x is equal to y. All right, so in this problem, we have to show that this function is onto. So if you see, look at the definition, this is capital X and this is capital Y. Okay, so that's capital X and this is capital Y. So proof. So we have to start by taking a little y in capital Y. So take any little y in capital Y. And now we have to show that there exists a little x in capital X such that this is true. So this is the part of the proof where we go to the side and we try to figure this out. So this is the scratch work. This is not part of the proof. So we want a little x such that f of x is equal to y. Well, our little x is going to be a pair, right? Because here f is a function of two variables. So we want m and n such that f of mn is equal to little y. So what is f of mn? Well, that's m plus n minus 3, right? Using the formula for f, and that's equal to little y. Okay, we want to solve uh, for m and n. So we get to pick, right? We get to decide what they are so that this equation is true. We can just make up numbers, right? So uh, I'm going to go with m equals 0. I don't want this here anymore. <laughs> so I'm going to say m equals 0. So if we do that, we get n minus 3 equals y. And now we have to find little n. So once we get rid of m, we can solve for n. So you can add 3. So you get n equals y plus 3. And it looks like that works. If we take m equals 0 and n equals y plus 3, then our pair will be mn, so 0, y plus 3. Let's go ahead and prove it. And in the proof, we're basically verifying this. So now we go back to the proof, and we say, we say that there exists an x, so we have to mention that. So then the pair 0, y plus 3 is in capital X. But capital X here is this. So, and the reason it's here is obvious. Now, sometimes if it's not obvious, you have to explain why, but let's explain why anyways. Zero is an integer, so it's in here. Y is an integer, so Y plus three is also an integer, so it's also in here. And so we've shown this part, so check, check. Now we just have to show that F of X is equal to Y. So F of, well, this is our X, so zero Y plus three. And this is the verification part. You just have to carefully plug everything in. So this is our M and this is our n. So it's going to be m, which is 0, plus n, which is y plus 3, and then we have the minus 3 at the end. So that's simply y plus 3 minus 3. These cancel, so we get y. So we've shown that for any y and y, there is an element in the domain such that f of that element gets sent to y. So thus, f is on 2. Thus, f is on 2. And that uh, completes the proof. So the proof is all of this, right? This is the proof. This is just scratch. Hope that made sense.